the late 1970s TV series Chips really connected with its audience through a great mix of action, drama, and comedy. It focused on two motorcycle officers from the California Highway Patrol and showed what an exciting side of road policing. This show is remembered as a classic from that time. The show wasn't just fun to watch, it also left a strong impression on many who saw it. The exciting chases and the close relationship between the main characters made it memorable. It might have inspired or influenced you in some way. Maybe the bravery and commitment of the characters struck a chord with you, or the fast-paced chases sparked your sense of adventure. There's also a lot of interesting and lesser-known facts about the show that fans might not know. Think about your favorite memory or experience related to the show. Did it bring people together or maybe inspire a career or hobby? Feel free to share your stories in the comments, we'd love to hear them. Chips was more than a TV show, it was a phenomenon that really stuck with its viewers. With its thrilling scenes and the bond between the officers, this series has a special place in TV history. This 1977 TV series is still loved today because it mixed different types of stories and show would police in a good way. Unlike other police shows from that time, it didn't have much violence. Instead, it focused on how the officers got along and the normal problems they faced. This made the show easy to relate to and gave a more positive picture of the police, which was new and had a big impact on viewers. The impact of this series goes beyond just being entertaining. It was important in changing how people saw police officers, showing them as friendly and hardworking. This view was important at a time when people's trust in the police was up and down. The show is still relevant for several reasons. It shows how teamwork and friendship are important at work, with the main characters supporting and respecting each other. This is a great example of how people should behave in a professional environment. The show also focused on solving problems without violence, which is very important today as more people are asking for this approach in police work. People also like the show because it reminds them of the past. For those who watched it when it first came out, it brings back memories of that time. New viewers get to see what life and culture were like in the late 1970s. You can see the show's influence in modern TV too. Many police shows now mix action with personal stories similar to this series. It also helped start more shows with diverse casts and different views of police work. In short, this series is more than just an old TV show. Its positive view of police, focus on solving problems peacefully, and emphasis on teamwork and friendship still appeal to viewers, making it a respected and still relevant show years after it first aired. In the series, the portrayal of John and Ponch as officers who never drew their weapons highlighted a unique approach to law enforcement on television. This aspect underscored the show's focus on non-violent conflict resolution, distinguishing it from many other police dramas of the time. However, there was an exception in the character of Berixa, who, in a notable episode, resorted to using his weapon following a physical altercation with car strippers. This incident served as a rare moment in the series where an officer's use of a firearm was depicted, underscoring the seriousness of the situation Berixa faced. The inclusion of Bruce Penhall, a real-life motorcycle world speedway champion, in the final season added a touch of authenticity to the show. Penhall's character, Bruce Nelson, mirrored his real-life achievements, transitioning from a world speedway champion to a motorcycle officer. The series creatively utilized actual footage of Penhall from the 1982 World Speedway Championship to depict his character's past, blending reality and fiction in a way that added depth to his role and appealed to both fans of the series and motorcycle racing. Another interesting aspect of the series was the presence of real California Highway Patrol officers on set. Due to the authentic filming locations, these officers were often mistaken for actors by the crew. Their presence for security and traffic control purposes added a layer of realism to the production. This often led to amusing confusion on set, but also highlighted the show's commitment to realistically portraying the work of the California Highway Patrol. These elements collectively contributed to the distinctive character of the series. The decision to portray main characters as peacekeepers who rarely resorted to violence, the integration of a real-world sports champion into the storyline, and the involvement of actual law enforcement officers on set all played a part in making the series stand out in the landscape of television during its time. 
the series made notable use of Southern California's freeway system for filming its action-packed freeway chases and crash scenes. Initially, the pilot episode utilized the Ronald Reagan Freeway, specifically the stretch between Interstate 405 and the Balboa exit. The show then moved to the Glendale Freeway and Interstate 210 intersection in La Canada Flintridge for the first and second seasons. This shift also included the section of Interstate 210 between the Latuna Canyon and Sunland Boulevard exits in La Crescenta. For the third and subsequent seasons, a two-mile stretch of Interstate 210 near the interchange with the Ronald Reagan Freeway in Silmer became the primary filming location. The extensive freeway construction during those years provided the production team with an ideal, nearly completed freeway environment for shooting. However, the opening of the 210 and 118 freeways in the early 1980s necessitated a location change for the final season's freeway scenes, which were then shot in Long Beach and near the Imperial Highway next to Los Angeles International Airport. An interesting cultural impact of the show was on the music scene. John's radio call handle, Seven Mary Three, directly inspired the name of a rock band. This fact highlights the show's influence beyond television, reaching into other areas of popular culture. In one of the episodes, a subtle nod was given to another popular series of the time, Emergency. The vehicle used by a paramedic, labeled as Station 51, was the same as the one used exclusively in Emergency. Although Emergency, had already concluded, this crossover serves as an example of the interconnectedness of television shows during that era, despite them not being directly related. In summary, the series not only provided thrilling entertainment, but also had a lasting impact on various aspects of culture, from influencing music bands to creatively linking with other contemporary television series. This blend of action, drama, and subtle connections with real-life elements and other media forms helped solidify its place in television history. Eric Estrada, known as Officer Frank Poncherello in the show, really dived into his role. He spent time training with real patrol officers at their academy. This hard work show would in how he acted on screen. The TV series also used real police cars that were once driven by the California Highway Patrol. These were older models like the Dodge Polara and Monaco from various years, which the show got from auctions. This made the show feel more real because these were the types of cars actually used by the police, just a few years older. While the California Highway Patrol liked how the show promoted highway safety, it's interesting to note that the characters, especially Punch and John, didn't always wear seatbelts or properly use their motorcycle helmets. They often used Velcro for their helmets instead. This actually matched the laws back then. Most places, including California, didn't have strict rules about wearing helmets or seatbelts until later in the 1980s. All these elements helped make the show special. The actors really got into their roles, the use of real police cars, and showing how things were back then in terms of law enforcement practices. It wasn't just entertaining, it also reflected the time period it was set in.